Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to my bonus stream, which is stream number nine of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough, Sora's Story. Hope everybody is well. In the episode on Wednesday, we made it to the 13th floor. And I believe that the 13th floor is actually the final floor. So I was quite encouraged to do a bonus stream, which is why we are bonus streaming here on a Friday. And there is extra episodes this week on YouTube. So yeah, kind of explains the whole why everything is happening. But yes, we are, I believe we're on the final floor here. I, good point on 13th floor on Friday the 13th. And um, yeah, really excited to get back into this, see if we can maybe finish Sora's story off tonight that would be really cool and then next week we can um crack on with riku's story which is about a third of sora's so yeah uh anyway without further ado let's load save and we shall begin <laughs> Indian dictionary final bosses Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Give me a shout when you're uh, when you're fully awake, and if you want to join me, dude. As always. Okay. This is the situation where we are at the right now. This is our map. It's quite a large map. There are quite a lot of rooms to traverse here, and yeah gonna take a while I think to get through it so rather than spending too much time jibber jabbering let's just crack on I can imagine here as well we're gonna need some quite high level high numbered cards but I'm going to hopefully skip a few of these rooms by using some pressure cards and moveable cards and stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to get through it a little bit quicker. Oh, story time already. Or maybe not. I can imagine we're going to get like little tidbits of information here. So, um, why is that one floating? That's interesting. I don't know if there's anything I can do with them floating ones, possibly. Oh, I made a ring. Anything coming out the other one? Guess not. All right, we've got a total of almost 14,000, uh, sorry, 1,400 moveable points here, so we're going to treat ourselves to some new cards. We'll get one for free. They're all attack cards. Fairy Harp's quite a good for recovery. Wishing Star and the Pumpkin Head, though, are definitely good on the attack side of things okay what do we want here because obviously here we've got to in castle oblivion it's it's quite apparent because of the bosses we're facing we've got to use physical cards so but i do think we still need some magic so let's go for 500 point physical cards. Ooh, Oath Keepers. Nice. Quite high cards there as well. Then we'll go to Magic and we'll take the 400 point pack of Magic cards. Okay. Bimba. 
So we can do... I think I'll do the 250 magic and we'll do 250 physical attack as well. Or 200. Good recovery cards there. All right. Onwards we go. Nine or above. A room where anything could happen. Now that sounds interesting. Should we give it a whirl? Let's give it a whirl. Uh, thanks for the look, by the way, Iron. Appreciate it. Okay, we've got some white mushrooms there. It's going to be a room of white mushrooms. Okay, that's a bit anticlimactic, if I'm honest. I guess it just picks a room at random. I mean, if yeah. I'd have read in the corner, it does say it's a white room, so I mean, I really shouldn't have been that surprised by it, I guess. Look yeah. what that thing was. Okay, quite a disappointing room be honest so we need a zero card here go for a maybe a nice easy room Let's go for a guarded trove room, actually. Let's have a bit of uh, action. Yeah. Hey, Imbi. Okay, we're almost at the first of our uh, rooms here. Huh. Oh, well, that was a bit yikes. Goofy card I just picked up? No, it was a McDonald yeah. card. Yeah. That's a goofy card though. It's over. Oh, that was anticlimactic. reload. Got Donald and the Goofy, so we can use another tr Trinity limit here. Yeah. Oh, no, they cancelled it. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. 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 I freaking hate the Harvest, man. Like, they, they keep, like, ducking and diving and weaving and bobbing. It's like playing dodgeball. Three yeah. Ds of dodgeball. Duck. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Isn't it? 
I don't know, it's a while since I've watched that film, to be fair. I want to get rid of this guy first, because he's going to be a pain. Okay. was the battering ram? A goofy, sorry, but he wasn't particularly good at it. This should hit quite hard though, because the heart these uh, heartless aren't um, hiding. So, any more? Not found the treasure yet. Where might the treasure be? I wonder. Yeah. Heartless. Let's go rid of that one. I'm not too bothered about the meatballs, to be yeah. fair. They're pretty easy to take care of. It's just these freaking heartless that keep going in and out of the ground. Like I say, they're quite annoying to deal with. Tornado. Combo wrong. Damn it. Yeah, Special guest incoming. Senor. Happening, dude. Are we all uh, rested and awake? Ah, somewhat. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> yeah, I came, to, came down and saw you tonight, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> Man, you, 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 there goes that knock patience. Yeah. That, that, the inability to give up you know what it was though it's like every time i said i was gonna finish i then thought of something else and i was like well i gotta try it <laughs> yeah. uh, i could see yeah Maybe it's just i don't know there's just some like little tweaks that need ironing out because like i say i had it running for an hour and a half without an issue I think it just comes down, it was possibly just coming down to like a bit of luck as to when things were running. Yeah. At point in the cycle, so. Yeah. Well, that's the, progress. The, the escape key was like really screwing it over, though. It kept taking it back and um, back to the home screen more often than not, so that's why I took it out. So. Yeah, I noticed that made it so, like, when it, when it went through a set of words. It stayed on the page. Yeah. And it opens up another, which actually is better. Yeah, there's, um, I feel like I've got some performance improvements out of it for sure, speed wise. Indeed. You 
just look at it as a uh, path to broaden your horizons, horizons for uh, Python, Tesseract, and OCR. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't ask me to do anything with it uh, anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, just, you can put it on your resume now. Yeah. Um, Ferris, how you doing? Hope you're well. Hope Bride has treated you well. Hey, poor Ferris. Good to see you as always. What kind of pasta did you make today? <laughs> I had pasta today. That's what, uh, uh, what I, was, I snuck away for for lunch earlier on. Nice bit of pasta. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have some mac and cheese tonight. So Ooh, nice. Pasta, pasta for me. Yeah, we, we was go it was meant to be a um, creamy pasta sort of thing that we was having, but Katie ended up putting some bacon and other bits in it, so it turned out a bit more like a uh, carbonara. Which yeah. was nice. I haven't had carbonara yeah. for ages. Oh, that, that works. Yeah, I'll take it. Spam call. Yeah, I just got one of them. Some American guy just like spam called me. <laughs> yeah, that just sent him straight to voicemail. Yeah. Good job I got it on my phone though, really, because um, because I'm streaming, I get it's obviously. In, do not disturb mode so the fact that i see my my phone flashing out the corner of my eye is an indication that oh he's ready he wants to get on board <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i said i'm still trying to wake up but i'm getting in yeah. there well to be fair you only went to sleep like what eight nine hours ago so yeah i think i got uh about a good eight hours in uh, not bad. That's that's all I really needed. Did you super well? You bought some new Sony headphones. They're perfect. I know you. Oh, um, nice. I know you've said about them before. You do like Sony headphones, don't you? For various. Yeah, Sony makes some great stuff, especially when you get into active cancellation and stuff like that. I mean, granted, there's. Plenty of other great head, headphones as well, but yeah, Sony tends the, from what I've seen, they tend to hold their own. Oh, this is you know, this is problematic. We get into the high end range. Just realised I haven't got any uh, healing cards in this deck. That... Am I supposed to heal myself? Ah. <laughs> uh, my advice is don't worry about it because you can't. <laughs> Maybe suck the life out of these guys. Just inhale their essence. The XM4s you weren't happy with, but the XM5s are perfect. Uh, glad you got the ones you like then. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I had a really good set, but yeah, I just can't. Dump out the dough for them right now. Yeah. yeah. For three, four hundred dollar mid range pair. Much less a high end pair. They're, uh, I think headphones is going to be something that's going to be on my radar pretty soon, though, because, um, I mean, these are my, these are the ones I bought for DJ and that I use, I use now. But, um, all the leather is starting, all the posing on the earmuffs is starting to come off. Like I finish, I finish up a stream and my face is just like covered in black bits. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. That's that's the uh, pleather. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you gotta you gotta have the really nice ones to get. Yeah. Uh, not the cheap stuff that ends up coming all apart. Yeah, my other my uh, Logitech headphones and they weren't they weren't really cheap, but. You know, they weren't certainly aren't high end, but yeah, they did that yeah. every time I got done. <laughs> Go look at a mirror and I got black specks all over the side of your head and face. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
like, son of a... But, oh well. It's part of the gig, I guess. You, you can't afford the uh, fancy spancy. I should really go back to using... I mean, well, they're, they're not much better in the time of the, the ear mod state, but... I have got some wireless Sony ones, like uh, PlayStation ones, which are Dolby surround sound, which I spent quite a bit of money on. That I always use for gaming, but then I just stopped using them for some reason. I should really go back to using them. Hey, I'm using some like, twenty dollar headphones <laughs> that I that I originally got for my daughter, but because my uh, Logitech's the uh, they are the wireless ones and they just got to where if you recall they would cut in and out like every 70 minutes it seemed like it was just consistently every like six minutes or whatever it was yeah it would just cut out and come back in it was so annoying Sometimes it got to be more often, but yeah. Between that, uh, between that and having black specs, uh, these these cheap ones do fine, and they they plug in. They actually plug into the uh, jack in the back. Yeah. Which I which I have a wide adapter on, so when I switch between my speakers and my headphones, I gotta turn my speakers all the way down and my headphones all the way up, and then adjust from the windows or my keyboard. And then I gotta do the opposite to go back to speakers because it takes all the power away from each one. Right, okay. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, the audio and mic jack on the front of my PC is not hooked up. Yeah, you see, that's what I quite like about mine. My PC is like, I can. I've got got it on the front and because I've got I've got my PC actually hanging on a bracket on the, just under my desk here so it's just like literally at my level as well just to plug stuff in it's great because I don't have to like bend down and scramble on the <clears throat> desks to plug stuff in yeah I never hooked them up at the time when I built it because I never used them until I started using this cheap set yeah so i kind of wish i would have plugged it in just for the occasions that are like you know the possibility that might be the maybe if i ever needed them it's there to use <laughs> but yeah I can imagine i can imagine uh preferous and fair it's like especially if you're like really excited about something there's nothing better than actually like getting what you're really excited about. Well, now you got uh, some awesome headphones and a couple weeks you got a particular game to play. Yeah. So man, it's it's all Christmas time for you. Can't possibly imagine what game you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what it's called. I hear I hear some people have repurchased it. Is it Portal 3? No, nah, I would have heard about that. Mm. Definitely, I definitely would have paid full price for that. Right out the gate. No questions asked. Gave it a, uh, a thumbs up and recommended playing it before it came out. <laughs> I think it was Plants vs. Zombies 12. Oh, yeah, that one. I didn't realize uh, EA was still making Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Thought they'd run it into the ground. Yeah, they seem to keep making them like Terminator movies. When will they quit? Oh geez, that's a treasure door. Yeah. Don't want to be going in there. This is it. Yeah, I didn't realize until I can't remember if I said anything about it, but 
uh, yesterday or the day before you day before you guys yesterday yeah maybe the, the day before anyway i didn't realize that they were still making they're on like number seven or eight of, of terminator is that like what you was, i did notice she was watching uh terminator earlier on yeah it was i think the fifth one maybe i don't know they stopped you stop using numbers and started calling them Names. different. Uh, yeah. It was Genesis, so. Salvation. Right. To be fair, I don't think I've actually watched any of the new ones. Yeah, they... It's after two, it really went downhill. Yeah, I mean, Rise of the Machines was a bit... Yikes. Um, two, two's still by far the best. I mean, even though it was... 1991 when it came out it holds up really well you know, I liked it better than the first one yeah, that's obviously subjective. this one was um, for its time though was really good yeah I mean for in the 80s but yeah I mean you, you look back now at that like final that final sequence in the in the movie where they're uh, at the uh, factory and the Terminator gets crushed, it looks um, a bit yikes in terms of CGI. But, um, no, for its time, it was a it was a pretty well done movie, and I, they were very. If I remember rightly, they were very under budget as well for the first film. They didn't really have a lot to spend. Yeah, I have no idea. I remember watching a, an interview with Linda Hamilton and. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and they were talking about some of the scenes in the first one that they didn't actually have a shooting permit to shoot oh, wow. in the streets so <laughs> I think they were doing it in like the dead of the night when nobody was around they were just kind of like trying to get as much filmed as they could yeah. because they literally just didn't have the budget for the film that's crazy well their budget certainly went up after, yeah. after that <laughs> What's this Talos 2 you're speaking of? Is that a new type of headphone? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's a new, the new Sony headphones that I, I heard about the other day. Sony Talos yeah. 2 headphones. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I'm going to check those out. Hey, Montreux. Yo, miss you, Fab. What is going on? Hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you, as always. All right, well, I feel a bit cheated here. I, like, rushed my way to get to this room. And this isn't the room I need to be at. How's uh, Paul been treating you, Mr. Fab? Assuming you're still playing Paul, of course. People still playing. Yeah, I think it's dropping ever so slowly. But there's always new players coming in too. So. Well, yeah, there's new players. Um, there's new map makers making maps as well. So yeah, it's always something exciting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure at some point I'll probably start getting back into it again and have to relearn everything. <laughs> like like the last time I played, I'm like, geez, I feel like I just just started playing and I have to like actually think about certain things that just came naturally because I played it so much, played so many maps that but yeah, it's been so long for me that all that's kind of out the window, so I have to kind of relearn the tricks and well, yeah, I'll just say the tricks of the portal trade. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's a few maps I'm gonna play that I added, like uh, one from what was it, Ava or? Yeah, the um, uh, is that the, the the Demon Arisen remake one of Axiom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to play that one, and there's a there's a couple more. 
You've completed Mike's entire Wyatt shop. Now that's an achievement. Oh, nice. I think I played. I'm pretty sure I played most of his. If, if not all, I can't remember. I know I was going through all of his map, all of his maps at one point. But I, I'll have to go back and look to see what I've missed, especially if you just made anything new since I, yeah. I kind of uh, went away from the game last year. You've done it once, now do it again and speedrun it. <laughs> You've done Red Silence's workshop as well. You have been a busy boy, Mr. Fab. Oh, jeez, yeah. Lots of maps to be played there. Lots of good quality maps as well to be played. Yeah, for sure. Just, yeah, just stay away from mine. <laughs> yeah, I still get the odd comment on some of my maps, and I just think, geez, cringe. <laughs> yeah, I had fun just making them anyway. Well, that's it. I mean, somebody was comment uh, played one of mine the other day, but it was, it wasn't even like really a a map that I released at the time to the public. It was more of a an idea I had for like a multi-chamber hammer map, which, as always, just being massively overambitious and never pulled it off. So, <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta set your sights high. Well, that's it. You know, if you fall short, you still you still did well. Yeah, the last the last remake of your own map was. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Although my first map, I feel like I peaked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean the one with uh, all the Death Wish memes? Oh no. <laughs> we, 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 we should probably remaster that one. To be fair, next. I don't know. I think it was perfectly done the first time. <laughs> You could, I think you could just improve the visuals. It's over. That's what I mean, just do a remaster. Yeah, do, <clears throat> make it more memetic. That really does need to be uh, front page as well. Yeah, yeah. That's not front page, I will cry. Yeah, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, go there if I was... <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> not to um, not to put myself down or anything, but it's not the best, Mister Fab. Steer clear. I uh, don't listen to him. He's got some. He's got some good maps. The only one I would recommend playing is this is the front page. I'll eat my hat. Probably the best one. <laughs> Great title, by the way. Well, clearly it was never front page because I didn't get to eat my hat, so. He's freaking heartless doing my head in. Stretch. Oh, yeah. Not logic two. Not logic two. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's the one. That's the one with uh, three direction cues behind some glass or something. If I remember rightly. Makes me feel nostalgic though, talking about maps and stuff, like remembering first one I ever made, like, live on stream, when Beam Master and Radioactive Owl were hanging very often. The nostalgia. Yeah, I've been sitting here letting... letting the bot run, let the strip run, and... it's... working smooth as can be. 
I mean, what I, what I found with the, um, if it gets stuck on the dictionary, what I've found the best thing to do is if you pause it and then go back to the main screen and then restart it, um, that kind of fixes the dictionary issue. But if you give it a bit of time to try and work it out on its own, because it will fix itself nine times out of ten. Yeah, it hasn't hasn't done that yet the whole time for the last... Uh, 45 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah. It's uh, gone through the piggy bank and everything just perfectly. Cool. Like I said, I think when it does fail, it's just purely a case of um, yeah, timing. Time, it's timing. The timing's off, which yeah. is just unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a tough thing to control, though, because of... Because that could... I mean, even if it gets thrown off by uh, tenths of a second, it could make a difference. And with you know the CP, you know, with the with the, with my machine, it's gonna bury. Yeah. Uh, just like you know, any computer, especially if you have other things that are running. Which uh, I I've gotten to where I try to keep things to a minimum. I try to. I, you, 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 if, you, if you noticed, I didn't have four different browsers open with 100 tabs each. Yeah. I, only had, I only had Firefox open, so I try to keep things to a minimum as much as possible. Just so things run better. And I need to remember yeah, to restart restart my machine more than once every four or five months. Now, I, think, I think that was the first time I restarted it probably this year. <laughs> That's except, crazy. Except for when the uh, power was gone out. Yeah. And and shut me down, so I had to do a yeah, beat up. But yeah. yeah. See, that's what I, if, if you saw that comment. If you saw that comment that I made about um, it was running sluggishly, I didn't realize. And then I checked your open tabs, and there was literally like 20 tabs open with like some raid Shadow Legends uh, video playing, and it was just killing the like the. Yeah. The operating of it, it was crazy. Yeah, that is turned it off, those are it terrible. Was... Of course, that comes that comes from the uh, main the homepage of Blue Stacks. Yeah. yeah. I think it, it, the thing must have failed a few times, and then it just like clicked on multiple adverts to. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it, it was literally I, I didn't clear a whole zone for like nearly an hour. It was ridiculous. It was running that slow, and I was like, why is it running so slowly? Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's goofy. I think. Where the uh, where you click the start level button, it's at the same height as as the uh, stupid Yo, Napaz. sponsor sponsor at the bottom. Hey Napaz, got some tricks for us. I decided to bonus stream tonight because um, I'm on the 13th floor and I feel like I'm close towards the end, so. I bonus streaming tonight in the hope that maybe I could finish. We will see. We will see. But I hope you're well, buddy. Um, yeah, making the map on stream as well. Um, Mr. Fab can be interesting, because especially if you've got people who have all got ideas. Like trying to um, channel your ideas and ignore and block out everybody else's is interesting sometimes. You know what? Somebody else made exactly that comment at the start of the stream, Napaz. Yeah. Um, exactly the same comment. <laughs> I entered 13th floor on Friday the 13th. Although, it was you from the future. Uh, isn't that you from the past? Past, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was future him going into the past and then he mm, came back wow. to the present. Yeah. Maybe. I'm confused. <laughs> Your future self went back to warn you about what I was going to do. What is this, Terminator? Yeah. Terminator 19. Good luck with, um... Good luck with finishing up everything, Furious. Hope everything goes well with the uh, finishing up university and graduation. Or you'll smash it. Yeah, coming to the finish line, buddy. Yeah. 
I want a Goofy card, not the Donald card. Come on, Goof, where are you? Yo, a Sears is here. What's going on, a Sears? Good to see you, buddy. How is everything? Oh, hey, Miss Sears. Yeah, what's happening? It's my goof. Yeah, if it wasn't for Discord, I'd be like, use the Sears again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trinity's a bit, a bit OP, Napaz, if I'm honest been running through for quite some time with the magic build but because of the operas um i've switched out to physical yeah. and it's really um it's really helping with the magic build for sure uh, the physical build sorry Repeatedly opening the dictionary, which is weird since it's trying to solve the puzzle. Yeah, but the problem is it gets it gets a bit confused. I think because I noticed when it happened to me, I got caught in a loop earlier, where it, every time it read, was able to read the screen, it read the same as it did previous. So it just kept looping round, and yeah, it just didn't. Um, it, it didn't like it. I don't know, uh, Asiers, it was just some guy who yeah. messaged me randomly and said, hey, can I join you on your stream? I felt sorry for the guy, <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we're all, we're um, all friends here. Uh, I'm just an uh, internet panhandler. Yeah. It's over. Walking around, begging for money. Internet panhandler and podcast celebrity <laughs> yeah, my giraffe just took a nose dive time for the time for my quetzal quetzal yeah the quetzal bird do you not have all your animals Yeah, I have 100% of them. So now I'm kind of bored. That was like my main thing besides uh, playing the game on the weekends was collecting the animals. And now that I've got them all, and, you, and that's including all the new ones they added. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah, I mean, I can level them up, but yeah. I mean, what else am I going to spend gems on? Yeah, it's kind of all these little side things, like the butterfly stuff is absolutely pointless. Yeah, see, I just don't play enough to get the animals and stuff, if I'm honest, so... Yeah, you definitely got to uh, play quite a bit so you can... Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, get enough gems to open an eggs, because, you know, they're at, at most... 950 and you get one animal but once you get them all of the ones in the egg then you get a shiny version of the egg and you get multiple animals right for yeah. for, for, for only 550 so yeah right i have completed one of my sets one of them i think and i do get um reduced price on them so yeah and then you get like a lot of times you'll get three three animals and you could get I've had sometimes where it'll be 15 of one animal. Wow. Stuff, stuff like that. Seven of seven of another, two of another. But yeah. Thanks leveling, leveling, leveling them up much, much quicker. Have you, yeah. um, have you played all the games um, the you fab or just uh, a few of them? Talking Kingdom Hearts, of course. It's, um, I do get the impression it's a very Marmite game. People either love it or hate it. 
Yeah, I gotta say, I don't mind watching, but I'd, I'd never play it. It's, uh, I'll watch somebody else play it kind of game for me. On most games? Uh, it, yeah, it depends. Especially, this, this is the kind of game I would have played when I was in my, like, early teens, mid teens. Like, if I could see playing this when it came out on, like, Nintendo 64 or something. Was uh, this is actually originally on the Game Boy Advanced? Yeah, really? Wow. Yeah. That's that's pretty impressive. Um, obviously it's uh, looks a bit different than it did on there, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can imagine. Even, to be fair, it's, this came out after the original. The original came out in 2002 on PlayStation 2, if I remember. So I'm quite surprised that the Game Boy Advance was even still doing the rounds back in 2000, like the early 2000s. I thought it was like proper, had been buried and replaced with the DS by that point, but I guess not. Give me my goofy. Yeah, no worries, uh, Petraeus. I didn't realize that I was streaming as well, but uh, I'll see you again. Have a good weekend. We'll hopefully catch you next week. Yeah, hey, tell Aaron uh, I said hi. Hey, yeah, okay. Far away. Oh, potentially about three or four rooms away. Yeah. Something big. point of the game that I just feel like it's come like these battles though I'm, I need I want to level up it's just comes like a bit of a mash fest it's like literally just doing combos over and over again because of my setup You, um, how did you get around the dictionary? Did you go back to the menu or did it sort itself out? It <clears throat> popped up ever and ever. It kept trying to solve and then it would like pop up again and back, you know, ever and ever. Yeah. And, I, and then I finally just went on and finished solving. And then, so, so, so far, I haven't, I haven't had to touch anything. Uh, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. It took me a while to like properly get to grips with it, uh, Mr. Fab. So yeah, I can totally understand yeah. where you're coming from on that uh, effect. Yeah, that's one thing I got to say from watching this is watching you go through the cards and all that. That's definitely not my thing. The ca casual battles like this are fine. It's when you you've, you've noticed that which probably like over time. It's when we get the boss battles and then you've really got to kind of start paying attention to what's going on around you that's yeah, when it true. starts to get a little bit um interesting yeah. especially when you've got like a massive deck of cards and you're trying to like navigate the whole deck to find a specific card it's um, a little bit stressful yeah like it's uh, that's one of the many reasons that's not for me yeah <laughs> Yeah, just uh, I don't enjoy that aspect of it. I guess, I guess, like I said, part of it's because just getting older, my tastes have changed, and and my 
brain doesn't work as well. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing the difference between when I was in my 30s and now. It wasn't that long ago, but man, have things changed. Uh, I hope it doesn't keep going in that downward spiral for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be in big trouble if I make it to like 70 or 80. I don't know, it's, it's really weird for me because I, I do feel like I've got to a point in my life where I've like missed out on so many games like, over the years and I'm kind of, oh geez, where'd you find that from, Mr. Um Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm at a point where I just kind of want to go back and enjoy some of the stuff that I missed growing up, so. Which is weird. Maybe not weird. Nah. Yeah, I've, I've gone back to play some of the games I used to love when I grew up, and to say the least, for me anyway, it was very underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> just for me to play in newer games, it, it, it just they just don't hold up for me. It's the same as like when you like look looking back at something, it's like you really used to enjoy something as a kid. Like for example, let's say you used to go to a. A, a playground or something and you thought it was like really like massive when you was a kid and then you go back and you actually see the actual scale of it as an adult and you're kind of like oh this place. yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure i swear this used to be like the site like the height of two skyscrapers what happened to it <laughs> yeah it, it, man we were on the swing that was you would get higher than mount everest yeah no it's Actually, the one we had in elementary school was a larger than average swing as far as the height of it. Boy, back in the day with the uh, hard dirt, rocks, like random rocks, big ones. You had, you had people get like 20, 30 some stitches in their knee because it was a gully and they tripped in the gully and they were trying to go jump over it and busted their knee on the rock and we had the jungle gem where they are literally like 15 feet off the ground kids just all over them falling off had a really really big swing so you could get quite high uh, and that's not just li uh, little me's version i saw it when i was older when i went back just to kind of look at things and yeah to see yeah you know, see how it looked now Stacks and all up. that yeah and i was like yeah it's actually still the same Chrissy. They, they don't have that kind of stuff anymore i mean they have swings but they're much they're much lower you can't get as high uh, and this was like this stuff was like almost just custom built like in somebody's yeah. backyard <laughs> and yeah you, you don't see the, the, that kind of stuff on playgrounds anymore just due to like liability and uh, all that kind of crap yeah, hence why, you know, Ariella fractured her wrist on Monday. <laughs> she was on the school play equipment. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. Well, I'd say... Just because, uh, you know, America... Sue! 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 <laughs> uh, America... Something, something. Um, should we go for pick a room, Deathwish? I'm gonna go for a bounty room. Calm bounty, guarded trove, or false bounty? What do you want to go for? Oh, jeez. If do the what was the first one again? Calm bounty. What, no, what no, en no, en no enemies in that room. We got the ah, guarded yeah. guarded trove, which has got. Uh, uh, treasure chest guarded by enemies, or we've got only a room where only one treasure chest treasure chest is real. Easy for me to say. Okay, yeah, do the the second one. The guarded. Uh, yeah. Okay.
How did you hit me? I wasn't on your level. Take two, and I'll be back in, well, might be three or four, but, but I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. I went, I went, I, yeah, we are going to uh, just head up the street real quick to the store. I'll be back. Don't, don't do anything too crazy while I'm gone. Can you get me some Tootsie Rolls? Uh, you got it. I can get you pretty much anything. <laughs> you, you know how our stores are. We have everything in them. I'll uh, I'll take some. I'll take a Tootsie Roll with a uh, with a uh, revolver no. re revolver chaser, please. <laughs> yeah, that that part is is a bit of a myth. Yeah. <laughs> Wait in Texas. Yeah, well, yeah there, I mean, there are some places uh, that do that. That is a that is a thing. Like Walmart and stuff has a gun section, but gun crazy. Yeah, most places don't <laughs> don't go that far. But yeah, Texas is definitely big on it. Uh, probably more than any other state. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the southern states in general t tend to be well, you know, as they call it, like especially in the Bible Belt and stuff. It's it's a lot of rednecks to kind of pick deal type of people that really come across as ignorant yeah also Mr. Fab, i didn't actually start the stream earlier i started my i was actually late starting my stream today so uh yeah that's quite weird for you to say that hey crazy uh see you later crazy i'll be back <laughs> i guess you mean it's like um um, earlier in the day for you, I guess, is probably what you mean, right? 